Good afternoon, I'm Jeff. I'm a Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 5889 Perrin Street here in West Lynn. We're located in the, uh, the frontmost bathroom with the hallway bath. Uh, we're pulled the toilet. We're going through the four inch cast iron flange. We just tied onto the main line down in the crawl space. Now I'm going to zero the camera counter out right here. We're going to check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. And uh, we'll get some water running here in just a moment. I'm probably going to keep the camera moving as quickly as possible to try and get through all the twists and turns. Uh, but we will reel back slower. Sorry for the delay there, I had to go turn on a different sink, the bathtub's not draining. And there's something going on right here. I don't, we'll, we'll take a look at that when the line is drained out. There's either a bunch of debris in the flow line or, or damage pipe or something like that. It transitions here over to 6 inch concrete pipe at 33 feet out. Alright, here about 71 feet out, we have reached the main lateral, and it did transition there a moment ago over to PVC pipe. Now that whole concrete section there though is in really rough shape. We've got separated joints and it looks like root intrusions through many of the sections there. And the concrete itself has shown a whole lot of aggregate rock through. It's got a lot of wear on it. We're going to let the line drain out here for a moment, I'm going to go locate the camera head. Alright, located the camera head successfully out at the main lateral on Perrin Street. The line should be fairly well drained out by now. We're going to go ahead and start reeling back. Alright, so we've got root intrusion right up here to the transition joint to PVC. I'm going to go 
bit this marked here. We'll see if the line drains out well throughout the whole thing or how much of it does. Um, sometimes if you've just got roots here but the pipe itself still drains properly, it hasn't settled with a belly in it. Uh, you do have sometimes have the option of doing a trenchless liner where you don't have to dig it up. You can just line the inside of the old pipe. All right, we're in the uh, front yard area here, about straight out from the, the larger tree there in the front yard, about four or five feet or so from the sidewalk. You can see there we had a root intrusion that came right through the transition joint. And it's a common thing whenever you're meeting old concrete up with plastic pipe, it's not a joint you can glue. Uh, it's a very common spot actually to get roots. But you can see how much aggregate rock is showing through here. This line is is in uh, another root intrusion there, is in very, very rough shape. It's at least the flow line area is getting into the eggshell condition. Now I'm going to do markings about every 10 feet here. Yeah, we've got roots. I think there was four joints there with roots in them. Right, I'm getting uh, roughly the same depth as I was out further. It's four feet, seven inches deep here out at the uh, end of the concrete. It was about, oh, five feet three inches. And that joint looks like it's starting to get intruded by roots. You got dirt coming into it and it's separated. Now when I come back here a little further into the cast iron, does it seem like there was something going on in here a minute ago? Now, I'm not entirely sure what we have here. It, we've got quite a bit of debris. My, it, my, it almost looks like there's dirt or concrete or something in the line here. Because my camera's riding up over the top of uh, probably at, at, at least two inches of something. What that is, I'm not entirely sure. Put a marking here at the, at the transition. I, I would recommend, unless you want to drain clean the line, I would just take the repair back to where that junk is at because I more than likely there's damage there. It, you either have a whole bunch of, it almost looks like concrete or dirt, it's just stuck there in the pipe. All right, this spot right here is located basically smack dab in the middle underneath the walkway out front. Um, so I, I didn't put markings on the concrete. I have a, a marking on before and after on either side of the concrete. I recommend just tunneling because the, the issue here is underneath the walkway. So you're going to have to deal with that one way or another. You could try and drain clean whatever's in here out of the line, um, but I mean, you've, there's only a few feet to go before you get right back to the foundation from there. So I recommend from 28 feet out to 51 feet be replaced. You may be able to do a liner on that. You have to try and jet clean the line to see if that, to, whatever that stuff is in the cast iron there can be removed. Uh, if that's the case, and the cast iron's still in good shape after all that said and done, you could uh, probably do a liner on the concrete section of the pipe. But with as much of that, that section of the line out front needs to be done, I would recommend really the, the best thing to do would just be to start basically at the foundation and work your way out. Normally you can you can go from the cast iron transition, but we've got a bunch of stuff built up prior to the cast iron transition. Now after the repair is done, I recommend a rescope to ensure it was done correctly. Aside from the uh, section that I mentioned from 28 feet to 51 feet, the rest of the line we scope there is in good shape and functioning at this time.